Uncle Deke here. Uh, another in our soldering demonstration, except I'm not going to solder a thing. I found something at a car show I've never found anywhere before. And this is it. Now this is some kind of industrial heat shrink. It comes in a four foot length. And it's about, it's not as big around as the end of my finger. But it's absolutely perfect to go over a Dean's plug and an XT60. Okay? Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, this is what we're going to do with it. Now let's, I get criticized if I'm not perfect here now. This is perfect. This is not perfect because it was a sh simply a demonstration on how to solder. I didn't put heat shrink on there. Let's pretend, let's pretend now, that these have heat shrink on them. I can see it on there, can't you? Just like these do. Okay. Now we're going to take a piece of this and we're going to kind of measure it about this long. Right here. And we're just going to take our trusty dusty scissors and cut it off. Now it is tough stuff. You can't rip it, tear it, or snare it. Okay, now let's, we're going to put some on here because it's got heat shrink on it. Okay, we're going to measure that. Now I cannot find this anywhere else. If anybody knows where to find this, it's really cool stuff. Now you'll see here in a second because it's going to get a little noisy. Um, this has some kind of a silicone seal inside of it, down inside here. You can actually feel it. And it oozes out and seals. Now if you were to put this around two big wires, it would seal it and make it waterproof. Okay, not necessary for what we're doing, but I like it. Now why am I doing this? Heat shrink is good enough. Yes. But. You know how hard sometimes these are to get apart? And if you get some Dean's plugs that are cheap, sometimes they're really hard to get apart or get together. If you put this on there, it gives you a handle. Let's just do it and don't talk about it until we get done. I've never actually put it on XT60 before because it's I find it's kind of tight. But you want to get that down there where it's just level with the top of that, and I'll show you why. Okay, now, why would you want such a thing? It takes up room, it makes this thicker all the way around. So if you've got to go through some kind of a hole, or if it's a tight fit and the wires don't bundle up right, it's not for you. Okay, but what it's for is to get a hold of. Whew. Yeah, this one's better. 
you can get a hold of that and you're not pulling against just the plug you're pulling against the whole thing and you're not gonna weaken that joint plus you talk about protecting the joint these wires are gonna break out here before they ever break in there okay and you can see how it oozed out right here okay got the ooze going on if that that's kind of a sealer that comes out there but it kinda of helps make it stick that got so hot it started to mount the plug okay but you can see how that worked got a little ooze going on here ooze doesn't really help but I'll tell you what now it gives you a gives you a finger hold this way too so if you've got it on both ends like this you've got a better handle this works especially good on bigger wires bigger batteries bigger planes um, hate to tease you with it because I really don't know where to get it but somebody out there might and if they do let me know because I'd like to get some more of it um, comes in a four foot length and it's about a oh it's about a half inch in diameter yeah it's more like five eighths okay and it's pretty pretty thick pretty heavy heavy duty way to dress up your battery plugs may not be anybody else on the on the tube that has this so uh, spread the word tell your name friends and neighbors and come back and see me uncle decat